Thank you very much, Helen, uh, and good morning, everyone. It really is a great pleasure to be here today to celebrate the very best in healthcare improvement work being undertaken for, uh, being taken forward by NHS staff and their partners here in Wales. I congratulate everyone who's up for an award and would like to thank you on behalf of all the people of Wales for the work you do. I think Helen's absolutely right. It's very easy, and certainly in my job, it's very easy, easy to focus on what's wrong. I switch my computer on every morning, and the first six emails are always uh, people complaining. But that, that doesn't detract from what I know is the wonderful work that goes on right across the NHS in Wales. So I think it's great that we're here today celebrating that. It's particularly pleasing to see such a mix of senior and frontline staff here. I know you share my enthusiasm for this work. While we must always strive to do more, there, this is a great opportunity to celebrate some of your success. I was very struck by the huge variety in the 20 shortlisted stories. They cover most of Wales, and it was particularly pleasing to see mental health services, health promotion and palliative care included alongside entries from acute hospital services. I think the themes for the awards are also the right ones to ensure we sustain the improvements in the long term. The entries on safety in surgery, early warning systems and reducing infections build on the, re the excellent reputation we have for being at the forefront in reducing harm in healthcare in Wales. The three storyboards in the resources category show we can provide better care at the same time as reducing waste while the entries on workforce planning and seamless working across organisations show the benefits of joining up thinking within and between organisations. I was also very pleased to see the new category, which shows some really valuable partnership between the NHS and our universities. I don't know who's won, and uh, I've had no say in the decisions, obviously, but I was particularly pleased to see the category which focuses on citizens at the centre of redesign and delivery. I'm also pleased to see the successes you've achieved in very varied settings. These were excellent demonstrations of how users and carers can help us to plan our services and give us feedback on our performance. The work has been done in some very challenging circumstances. Your work has confirmed the approach the Welsh Government has taken. The recently published Quality Delivery Plan shows how we will ensure the NHS in Wales is driven by quality through focusing on improvement and quality assurance. We know from your work and from the experience of A Thousand Lives Plus, quality can be improved if we use a simple shared method for doing improvement. I want to see this method used more widely across the NHS in Wales. It needs to become our common language. We have seen how this approach encourages, empowers and inspires frontline staff to make improvement their business and take responsibility for improving the services delivered to patients. It asks three key questions at the beginning of the change. What are we trying to accomplish? How will we know a change is an improvement? What change can we make that will result in improvement? These questions ensure the focus of change is on the patients who use our services. They cannot be answered without this focus and the engagement of the patient, which is why I want to see this methodology being used right across Wales. We have learned that improvement is usually less about light bulb moments and more about a serious approach to achieving reliability involving the whole team. Our emphasis is to spread capability to approach improvement at a local level and that is why the quality delivery plan has set a testing target to ensure that large numbers of our staff will be provided with these skills. The national systematic approach to improvement, which is being taken forward through a Thousand Lives Plus programme, is central to achieving this. Together for Health, our vision for taking NHS Wales forward over the next five years sets out the Welsh Government's commitment to ensure patient experience, quality and safety of care and improved health outcomes are at the heart of NHS services. This comes against a challenging financial background where all public services need to do more for less. The focus on quality and safety must remain paramount. Focusing on reducing waste, harm and variation is central to improving care for the people of Wales as well as reducing costs. Improvement needs to become our core business with the focus on it being everyone's responsibility. 
We need to recognise and encourage each other to see we all have two jobs, to do our job and to improve it. Over several years, NHS Wales has shown it is often good at coming up with ideas, being innovative and drawing on good practice. However, the biggest challenge in the past has been using the right techniques to deliver the most effective improvements. Your work and the use of improvement method has shown we are able to address this challenge. It is for this reason I have decided to establish a board to help facilitate and speed up the identification and, and spread of best practice and innovation within the NHS and with its partners in our efforts to achieve consistent excellence within Welsh healthcare wherever it is provided in Wales. It therefore gives me great pleasure to launch the new Health and Wellbeing Best Practice and Innovation Board. I'm delighted to announce that Jan Williams will be chairing the board. I want it up and running over the next few months, working alongside existing programmes such as the Thousand Lives Plus programme. It will act as additional support to help identify examples of best in class and innovative developments to accelerate adoption right across Wales. Finally, may I wish you all the very best of luck this afternoon. Thank you for your dedication and the invaluable contribution I know you will each make to the people you care for. The people of Wales deserve nothing less than the best health care. Your role and commitment to the task is vital to delivering that. I'm really sorry I can't be here this afternoon for, for the awards, but good luck to you all. Thank you very much.